Today we're going to be making a cast and a mold of a seashell to understand how fossils form in the natural environment. You'll need a plastic bowl, a seashell, or really anything small. Could be a Lego man, could be a ball, whatever you want. A stir stick, a tablespoon, and then 25 grams of something called sodium alginate. First we're going to make our mold. The mold is the impression left behind by the object. So we're going to add our sodium alginate to our bowl to start. Next, we're going to add three tablespoons of water to our alginate. Now it's time to stir. You're going to be stirring for a little bit of time, and the trick with alginate is you want to really stir it pretty vigorously, pretty quickly. The stirring quickly really helps to mix it up well and breaks down any clumps so you get a nice smooth texture. Ideally, your alginate should start to look a little bit like strawberry yogurt as you stir it. It gets kind of thick. Now this particular brand has a colorant added to it, which gives it a nice pink color. That pink color lets you know that it's still active or pliable. As you continue to stir and you're going quickly still, you should notice that that pink color we started with is starting to fade slowly into a very, very pale pink and becoming more whitish. Your pale pink mixture should still be fairly easy to stir at this point. It may thicken up just a bit, but it shouldn't really feel solid at this point. It should still feel kind of like yogurt. Once the mixture does turn totally white, you want to stop stirring, take your stick out, and start to gently tap your bowl on your counter. This is going to help to get any of the air bubbles out, and also it will make your surface nice and even for your mold. Now we're going to take our object, in my case my seashell, and very gently press it into your alginate. You don't want to push too far down because you don't want to lose it in the alginate, but you want to make sure that it's totally in there. And now we wait. We're going to let that alginate set. We're going to give it about five minutes. You'll know that your object is ready to take back out of the alginate once the alginate has hardened. Now it's not going to get rock hard, it'll actually just feel like the rubber of the sole of your shoe. So once it is totally solid, you can just very gently wiggle your object free, pull it out, and what you'll be left with is a mold or an impression of the object that you used. Now that we have our mold, we're ready for the second part of this, which is to make our cast. The cast will be made from plaster, so you'll need your mold that you just made in step one, one tablespoon of water, and 30 grams of plaster. Now you'll add your tablespoon of water to the plaster powder. Use your stir stick to start to mix them up. You'll notice I'm not stirring quite as quickly with the plaster. You don't really have to, but you do want to make sure you get a nice even mix, so scrape the sides and make sure you get the middle as well. The plaster should start to thicken slightly as you mix it. So a cast, when we're talking about fossilization, is when you get a rocky copy of the object which became the fossil. The cast is the opposite half of the mold. The mold is concave, but the cast is convex. The two pieces fit together like puzzle pieces. Now we're about ready to pour our plaster into the mold that we made. So we'll dump it all out, and the next thing we want to do is once again gently tap it on our counter. We want to get all of those air bubbles out and make sure that that plaster sits nice and evenly. Then we're going to leave it to set for about 12 hours. After about 12 hours, I'm going to very gently separate the pliable alginate from my hard plaster. And there we are. There's our cast and there's our mold. If you're feeling particularly artistic, you can always go ahead and paint your cast. Plaster takes paint pretty well. Acrylic paints work great or tempera. Thanks for watching.